Running Enterprise Edition Virtual Machine Image using VMware. Create a new virtual machine. In the VMware vSphere client, right click on your server and select the New Virtual Machine option. The Create New Virtual Machine wizard opens. Select the Custom Configuration type. Use the Next button to proceed to the following tab. Specify your virtual machine name. Select a storage for your virtual machine files. Choose the version of your virtual machine. You need to select version 8 or later. Specify the guest operating system to use. Check the Linux radio button and select Ubuntu Linux 64-bit from the list. On the CPUs tab, enable at least two virtual sockets. Specify at least four gigabytes of memory. Change the default network settings if necessary. Select another SCSI controller if necessary. Select the Use an Existing Virtual Disk radio button. On the Next tab, click the Browse button. Locate the necessary Enterprise Edition .vmdk file, select it, and click OK. Make sure the IDE 0 to 0 option is selected. Review the machine settings and click Finish. Run Enterprise Edition. Right-click your virtual machine and select the Open Console option. Click the Power On button. When the virtual machine with Ubuntu is booted, you will be asked for access credentials. Enter Only Office as your login and Only Office as your password. After that, you will be asked to change the password. Enter your existing password, Only Office first, then specify your own password and retype it. Adjust network settings. Open the forward slash etc. forward slash network forward slash interfaces file in a text editor. Your network interface is currently set for using DHCP. Replace the DHCP value with the static one and add other network parameters, such as IP address, net mask, default gateway, DNS name servers. Save the changes. Restart your virtual machine for the changes to take effect. Set up your portal. Open a browser and enter the IP address that you've specified at the previous step. On your portal welcome page, specify the password and email you want to use to access the portal. Click this button to upload your license keys stored on your computer. Accept the license agreement terms. Save the settings. That's all. Now you can start working on your portal.